New at five, these guys, ticks, are a real concern here in our area, and we are seeing more of them, and here's one reason why. We looked up these maps right here, and you can see where you find these tips in four different types of ticks in the United States. All of these, as you see, are here in Georgia. They can carry serious diseases, too. Meteorologist Katie Walls looked into the problem. Katie, you found our pets are just as susceptible to bites and diseases as we are. That's right. Shady, overgrown areas just like this are the perfect environment for ticks. And of course, the goal is to keep ticks outside of your home, but sometimes your furry friends might bring them inside, putting you and your family at risk. Here in Georgia, ticks are a threat spring, summer, and fall. Dave Lofquist walked me through the DeKalb County yard that has had tick problems in the past. Densely shaded. Densely vegetated, lots of shade, lots of moisture retention. That's perfect for all those uh, pests. The Aero Exterminator's technical trainer suggests trimming back overgrown areas and removing any piles of debris. Ticks stay fairly low to the ground along the edges of a path or fence line. Critical areas to keep neat and trimmed, especially if you have a pup. Uh, the fence line areas that the dog routinely runs, if vegetation builds up along that fence, mm -hmm. the, the ticks will be at the edge of that tall vegetation are on the fence and so when the dog runs by that's where the tick latches on. Check your pets for ticks daily especially after they spend time outdoors. As with people the quicker you remove the tick the lower the risk for disease. If you have some fine tweezers that's really the best tool for tick removal. Grasp them as close as you can to where they're latched on. Resist the urge to squish them or grab them with your hands because that bacteria that could make you sick could then be on your fingers. Remember to ask your veterinarian before applying tick prevention medication to your pets as some chemicals may be harmful depending upon the animal. And ticks thrive in warm, humid weather. That's why our tick season is expected to get worse before it gets better. Now, meteorologist Brad Nitz joins us, and Brad, we're expecting our humidity to be going up in the days ahead. Yeah, related to.